So we got the uh, new crossfire. This is the little, uh, little PCB mod. It's supposed to be pretty hard, but the only hard part I can see about this whole process will be uh, removing the original transistor on the PCB. So what you want to do is get your uh, get your doors off. There should be uh, four screws holding the back of this case, and I'm going to need to pop out all these batteries. Still running double A's, which is a bloody pain in the bum, but I haven't managed to find a uh, yeah. find a lipo that fits yet. Pulling the back off here should just come off easily, but you want to um, watch out for yeah. these pins because the uh, the caps will slide around them. Just make sure you don't bend them. Good for this guy right here. Yeah. Um, there's my ground and 3.3 volts. Okay. <laughs> uh, firstly, though, before the PCB comes out. You're gonna need to remove this little, uh, remove your little do blacky there. Pop that do blacky off. He just pulls it right off. Get your nail under there. Now the board will come out nicely. Put your bloody gimbal protectors on when they keep flying away. Little bastards. Right. Yeah. Eight screws. This is the uh, diagram I'm going to be going off to wire this all in. That's from the TBS website. All right, we also want to uh, remove this this guy here. You just want to make sure you don't uh, damage this ribbing cable right here or any of these. So flip him up nice and gently. What we want to get it to is Q400, this guy. Now it is um, lead free solder used in all this stuff, so you will need to run your iron yeah. a bit hotter. I, think I usually run my iron at 400 degrees Celsius for uh, lead free. I also find using a bit of my solder, just putting a little bit of that on top of the lead free stuff when you start helps to, uh, helps to get it to melt. solder on your tip kind of helps with the heat distribution. Yeah. What I'm going to do with this cable is wrap it over the top there like that. 
Yeah. I'm gonna put this board back in. Work my way on the front. <coughs> Happy days. on the cable is inside the solder joint. As long as there's a piece of copper touching that, touching the contact, a piece of cable touching the contact, you're all good, but you can solder this. Yeah. You can trim that just to have like a millimeter of cable sticking out. And you can sit the insulation of this cable right in the solder glob if you want. Doesn't matter. Sometimes I like doing that. Give it a little bit of extra strength, you know. If the insulation is uh, inside the solder 
probably gonna melt away while you do it, but if there's a little bit in there, you know, it might grab on and give it something else, some sort of cable strain relief. Bless you over there. Successfully modified for Q7X, ready to run Crossfire at full power, not lose any packets and uh, all the good stuff. Let us know if this was useful. Probably won't be. There's millions of other videos out there showing the same thing, so yeah. Catch you later.